Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to vlog three. It's September the 18th, and we've moved on to lesson three. So whereas before we was playing in 4-4 four, four time, four beats to the bar, this lesson, uh, we're playing in 3-4 time, so it's three beats to the bar. Uh, so it's, it's like a waltz now. So before we was playing in, playing our C bass chord, that one, our G bass chord, and our F bass chord. Now we've moved on to 3-4 time, uh, the waltz, it's three beats to the bar, so our rhythm on the bass side goes like this. That's the C. That's the G. And that's the F. So yeah, so we've moved on to lesson five, as I say, and uh, what I've got to be careful of is not trying to get through these lessons too quick. There's an awful lot to take in on these lessons. And I do think that maybe I'm skipping along a little bit too quick. So I'm gonna start sh slowing the lessons down a little bit now, so as I can actually grasp more of what I'm doing, rather than just managing to get through the song and then plowing into the next lesson. So I'm gonna take a bit more time on the lessons. It's, it's starting to get a lot more tricky now. So, um, so yeah, so the song we've been asked to play this time is a, a, a waltz called Blue Jay Waltz. As I say, it's in three, four time. There's three chords involved. There's the C bass chord, the G bass chord, and the F bass chord. So, um, so I'll try my best now to uh, give you a little example. But. Needs a little bit of work, but uh, we're getting there gradually. So, um, yeah, so now we plow on with uh, lesson six. And uh, as I say, I'm going to take it a lot slower now and uh, try and take a lot more of it in. There's a bit of theory to come, um, there's an extra chord, I think, and there's a lot of dotted notes. So, um, nice and steady, nice and slow. And uh, see you next time. <laughs> 